Do I got your attention? Good, because Sephiroth is coming back for your boy, Zack, and it's a good thing. Maybe not for Cloud, or for the Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion Remaster, depending on your outlook. Let's discuss. So throughout the compilation of Final Fantasy VII, we see multiple instances of memories being discussed, and did you know that the design is all over the compilation? It's called Tessellation, and it is along this with memories being intertwined within DNA. In many instances throughout the compilations, and even in Advent Children when Cloud grabs his arm while corrupted with Geostigma. A sickness infecting them to the core, affecting even their DNA. Look at Kadash's interaction with Rufus Shinra and Advent Children. He uses the memories in Geostigma within Rufus to briefly show that he is Sephiroth's remnant, and that he's just a fragment of Sephiroth's hatred as the rest float away with the livestream back in Nibelheim, and again at the end of OG Final Fantasy VII in Cloud's inner mind. Meaning memories are intertwined within the DNA, thus allowing one to come back via the livestream using said memories, if they can keep their consciousness intact while in the livestream. As you're more than likely aware, the livestream is where you go when one dies. Aerith herself goes to the livestream thanks to that event, but her consciousness stays whole to try to summon Holy, even in Advent Children, as does Sephiroth as shown previously due to him creating the remnants. More evidence is shown in On the Way to a Smile livestream black and livestream white. As long as Cloud remembers me, I can continue to exist within the livestream and on the surface, even if my spirit disseminates, even if just one fragment of a memory courses around the planet. In the end, I can count on Cloud's consciousness to bring me back. But something deeper and darker is controlling even Sephiroth. Something that's end goal is the end of the world itself. The being known as Genova. Remember, Sephiroth and Cloud are both infused with Genova cells, thanks to Hojo. Genova also has the ability of mimicry, as explained by Alfana in the original Final Fantasy VII, and we also know how Genova cells, when split apart, try to reform back together. We even see this multiple times with Sephiroth and his descent into madness the closer he got to Nibelheim, the closer he got to Genova, and his spirit broke. Eventually, Genova gets control of him, and his mannerisms and attitude changes. When he falls into the Mako pool in Nibelheim, and all that's left of him is hatred. Everything from Advent Children, the OG game, and even the course of the events of Nibelheim are all caused by Genova. So what changed? All born are bound to should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He's talking about Genova, right? No, in Final Fantasy VII Remake, it seems he's trying to break free of her control. He's talking about the planet. In the Final Fantasy VII Remake Ultimania, and translated by Audrey, we now know that Sephiroth somehow regained his sanity, along with the fact that we see at least four different types of Sephiroth. All not actually him, but in fact Genova using that mimicry ability mentioned earlier. So what about Zack? Remember how I described only a fragment of hatred of Sephiroth remains? Where do you think his happiness is? It's in Zack. Zack has memories of Sephiroth, Cloud, and Aerith, namely Sephiroth when he was a kind, nice, compassionate being that had actual friends. But there's a problem. Zack was also captured by Hojo and experimented on. He has Genova cells too. Sephiroth is saving Zack. I mean, if he was saved, where is he? Genova is up and about now. Will Genova take control of him? It's also why I think the remaster of Crisis Core isn't actually a remaster. Evidence? Rapid fire time. It's titled Reunion, not HD remaster or anything else. Zack's new voice in remake and Reunion. The Buster Sword is differently designed than the OG game. Crisis Core, never Crisis actually existing. Zack showing up at the end of the 7 remake briefly is a tease for the next game, Reunion, and maybe a reach, but Japan's official Japanese Twitter account also shared this tweet. Lines up with everything I just said. Sephiroth isn't evil, and using the same power Genova used over him to save Zack and therefore his own memories to reform Cloud into a stronger-willed person, with even more of his friends by his side. Genova is the true enemy of the entire franchise, like shown all the way back in 1997, and Genova will try to take control of Zack in place of Sephiroth, and Zack will kill Tifa, or worse, Cloud has to kill Zack. I still believe Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will follow a similar path as the OG FF7 on PS1, similar to VII Remake. I hope you enjoy it, and if you also like Kingdom Hearts, then you'll probably enjoy this theory I have on the franchise's future. Till next time, this is Bio, and I am signing out.